Have you ever wondered why some horoscopes begin with Aries and end with Pisces and others begin with Aquarius and end with uh, Capricorn? Okay, perhaps I have the answer. Now, I want you to take a look at Bess. He's associated with Horus, one of the primal gods in Egyptology. Uh, notice he has fine teeth, and he does look kind of Aquarian. And look over here, one of the primal gods in the Dogon cosmology. Um, this is one of the normal twins. This is a Dogon drawing of one of the normal twins. Um, if we look at Pisces, which I think the normal twins are, here we go. I think that's the normal twins. Um, this and this is the same thing. So when I started to study this stuff, I started at Cancer, where the Egyptian calendar begins. And I retroact to the Sphinx. I think that's where the Sphinx was done about 13,000 years ago. And I went to um, Shango, which is Sagittarius, Capricorn. And recently I went through Aquarius with the new uh, hieroglyphic. I think that's new in Egyptology. And now this is very young, the Pisces twins right there. And you see that's a spring uh, equinox. Uh, down here is a fall equinox, uh, winter solstice, and the summer solstice. So this is where my consciousness is now. Uh, I don't think we can go any further back because uh, the cycle has been completed uh, almost twice because we are in the age of Pisces now going into Aquarius. So uh, we multiply 2190 uh, by 12, that would get the age of one cycle, about 26,000 something years. And then we, if we multiply by that by 2, we get something like 2,500 years. So that's it. I don't think our consciousness uh, went any further back than that in Africa, uh, except uh, one can say in the primeval waters, they talk about uh, which was subjecting uh, back that uh, the primeval waters carry everything for the millions of years, including the sun. But the consciousness, the cosmological consciousness, I think, falls back here to uh, Pisces, which I think is the normal uh, twins, and best.